Hello and welcome back to our Swede Tech channel. This quick little video is on the Vortex Rock Spec Shifter engine. And uh, this video is not for our blueprinting service for the engine. It is a quick video on the hardware and the things you can do to the engine before you install it. So again, this is not our blueprinting service. This is just things that you can do things you can buy from Swede Tech to make the installation of the engine easier. So the first thing we'll start on is a carburetor because that's at the front. The carburetor from Vortex needs to be jetted to be compliant with Rock Cup USA rules. So you can send us an email or you can buy our kit at shopswedetech.com with the proper jetting uh, to be compliant. So it'll run with the jets that are in there. However, you will not be compliant if you go to participate in a Rock Cup event. So uh, again, you can contact us for those specifications. And then also what we're doing is we do add a vent line because the carburetor doesn't have the vent line. And we're taking these vent nipples out of the box, out of all the engines we've seen, they're facing down. So we just twist them up and then add the vent line. Uh, the other thing, and I'll scroll around here, so bear with me. We have the fuel pump. Rock Cup USA specifies where the fuel pump can be located. You have to use their mount, and it has to be located in this position with the current 2017 rules. So our kit will include the fuel line to go from the pump to the carburetor, and then the pulse line to the pump. And then what you'll want to do on the Delardo pumps, you'll want to use some nice little hose clamps. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Right there. Some nice little spring type hose clamps. Because the Delardo fittings are a little bit smaller than some of the Makuni pumps. And uh, it can be a, a semi-loose fit. So you don't want to lose a fuel line or a pulse line during competition. So that's the fuel system there. We've got the carburetor. Again, the carburetor has to be jetted to be compliant for Rock Cup USA. So you can get a hold of our office and we can help you with that. And as always, please give me your feedback on the videos. Uh, they're probably a little shaky today, but I am now doing them in landscape because of uh, a number of um, a number of comments about feedback so it's uh, I kind of agreed the portrait didn't look so good landscaping is better um, this is just a handheld so it's probably a little shaky but I'm working on that as well uh, so the next hardware item is going to be the tech nuts so Rock Cup USA requires tech seal nuts and the exhaust manifold to be sealed so we'll uh, drill the nuts we'll drill the bolts we have a hardware kit on Shop Suite Tech that's available for you. So you don't have to go source any of this out. You can just buy it from one location. So again, Rock Cup USA requires the tech nut to be on the cylinder, on the head, and the exhaust manifold. Uh, the other thing that we kind of came up with, because we got tired of trying to retrofit uh, different clevises and all kinds of hokey stuff, so we have these clutch clevises that bolt to the uh, clutch arm because the engines do not incl include that. So that's for the clutch cable. So we have the clutch cable clevis. I can't say that three times fast. Clutch cable clevis, which is bolts to the arm there. We also have a clutch cable that is installed here. So the, um, that is the proper length and it's a, a nice quality cable. We are working on a hardware kit for the J-Arm. That's going to take us probably a little bit more time. We have a basic one, um, but that's just going to probably improve as we see more and more chassis, how the engines fit with the seat struts, seat placement, where the rods are going, um, all that fun little stuff. So not a big deal, just try to make it nicer. So when you buy your new Vortex engine, you can pull it out of the box. You could buy a quick little kit from Swede Tech and then be on your way to installing this engine. And now another thing that we're doing, and if you already have a rock and you need the engine mount modified, you can always take it off and send it into us. But we're machining the bottom of the engine mounts. 
because some chassis, the mount will not fit properly. It doesn't sit all the way down. So we're machining the bottom of the mount to fit both a 30 and a 32 millimeter chassis. We're also adding a center threaded hole for a single bolt butterfly system. So we're adding that as well. So again, you can contact our office, just send us your mount, we can modify that for you. Just tell us what chassis you're running. You can check out one of our videos on how to measure your frame for the proper diameter and spacing, just in case you don't know how. And that's on YouTube as well. And I think that's about it for right now. So again, just a quick little video on the Vortex Rock engine and some of the things you can buy or do before installing to make it a nicer installation and uh, get you on the track faster. Thanks for watching. Check out our uh, Shop Sweet Tech site for the little kit. Thank you.